warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. When the waters cover the ground. One day, Monkey gave Mr Noah a card. It said, please come to our surprise. This is very mysterious, thought Mr Noah. Boo, said Snake. Surprise, surprise. A present for you. At first, Mr Noah wasn't sure what the present was, but the animal soon showed him. What a splendid present. It's a hammock. We knew you'd like it, said Cat. We know you enjoy a nice snooze. Here in my hammock I lie in the sun, resting my bones till the day's work is done. I'm oh, so pleased all the animals on our ark are such clever animals, said Mr Noah. Cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah was told by Monkey that Lion had a tummy ache. He's been groaning and moaning, said Camel. And grumbling and rumbling, said Cow. Can't you make him better, Mr. Noah? asked Peacock. Then we'll have some peace. Mr. Noah found just the thing. This will make him feel more comfortable. But Lion was hiding. Open wide, said Mr. Noah. No, said Lion. Come along, Lion. But Hippo knew what to do. Ow! Oh, said Lion. Um. Thank you, Lion, said Mr. Noah. And thank you too, Hippo. I'm so pleased one of the animals on our ark is such a clever animal, said Mr Noah. Ark warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come When the waters cover the ground One day the deck of the Ark was covered in snow Mr Noah was surprised Come along you animals, he said We must all work hard to get this snow cleared away You know about snowy matters, polar bear You take charge of the work but all the animals wanted to do was play in the snow. Here's what we're going to do, said Polar Bear. Soon they'd made a polar bear out of snow. Right, Polar Bear, said Mr Noah. Have you finished? Did you hear me? Tricked you! You were talking to a snow bear. I'm so pleased all the animals on our ark are such clever animals, said Mr Noah. Safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come when the waters cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah called all the animals together. 
Listen, he said, it is getting much too hot for me. You'll have to look after yourselves today. I must go inside and rest. Poor Mr Noah, said Kangaroo. We must think of a way to help him. Just do as I tell you, said Elephant. So they did. This way, said Sheep, we've a surprise for you. Sit down, Mr Noah. So Mr Noah rocked and Peacock fanned him with his tail and Kangaroo made a cool breeze with the elephant's ear. Mr Noah smiled. This is a lovely way to spend a hot afternoon. I'm so pleased the animals on our ark are such clever animals, he said. Cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah was feeling very, very sad. Oh dear, oh dear. Please help me, said Mrs. Noah. Mr. Noah hasn't smiled for days. A little rocking might help, said Elephant. Little tickling, said Lion. And Mr. Noah smiled. Elephant blew on him gently. Do you know, I've had such a lovely dream, said Mr. Noah. Good, said Mrs. Noah. I'm so pleased that all our animals on our ark are such clever animals. the ground. One day Mr Noah stood in the bows of the ark and looked down at the waters below. He was worried about Dove. It's been two days since Dove flew off to look for land, he said. I hope she's all right. Even Giraffe, as high as the clouds, couldn't see her. Look, said Cat suddenly. It was Dove, flying home at last. She's so tired, said Mr. Noah. I'll help her, said Duck. You're a brave little bird, said Mr. Noah, and you, Duck, are a true friend. I'm so pleased all the animals on our ark are such clever animals. Ark warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. When the waters cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah came out to have a little snooze. He likes snoozing. How boring it all is, said Dog. It's a very boring day today, said Elephant. It's so boring today, said Cow. I'm, well, I'm bored. Don't go, said Monkey. I've got an idea. We need some exercise. Swing your trunk, Elephant. That's it, Camel. Here we go, yippee! The other animals stopped being bored. Look at 
But me, said Dog. And me, said she. That's nothing. Look at me, said Monkey. Whee! Whoops! Oh, dear. Sorry, they all said. We were exercising. Good. I'm so pleased all the animals on our ark are such clever animals, said Mr Noah. Cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah called all the animals together on the deck of the ark. I've decided we'll have a test of strength, he said. A tug of war. Oh, ho, ho, said Polar Bear. I'm very strong. I can pull the hardest. No, said the elephants. We can pull the hardest. Now, elephants, said Mr. Noah, you can be the two teams. Mrs. Elephant leads the red team and Mr. Elephant the blue team. Take the strain. Heave! All the animals heaved on the one side and all the animals heaved on the other side. They pulled and heaved, but the ribbon stayed in the middle. What a silly game, said Mrs Noah, and cut the rope with her scissors. Whoops! I'm so pleased you're such a clever person, Mrs Noah, said Mr Noah. Cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah decided it was time to clean the side of the ark. Lion brought the cleaning platform, and sheep went for clean water. Come on, monkeys, said Mr. Noah. It's all ready for you to clean. Overboard. Thank goodness Giraffe has such a long neck. Monkeys rescued. Thank goodness, said Mr. Noah. Thank goodness, they all said. I'm so pleased one of the animals on our ark is such a clever animal, said Mr. Noah. Ark warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. The waters cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah discovered that the animals were very worried. How dismal you all are. Whatever is the matter? Oh, it's a terrible thing, said Cow. Kangaroo has forgotten how to hop. Well, I'm too busy. You'll have to teach her how to hop all over again. Poor kangaroo. So Peacock tried to show her. And Hippo tried to show her. And Cow tried to show her. Of course, Monkey knew just how to do it. Easy. It's not easy when you've forgotten how. I just can't anymore, said poor kangaroo. Nonsense, thought elephant. 
can soon cure that. And suddenly, Kangaroo was hopping and hopping and hopping. And hopping and hopping. Ah, I see you found your hop again. What good teachers you must have had. I'm so pleased the animals on our ark are such clever animals, said Mr Noah. Ark warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. When the waters cover the ground. One day, Mr Noah noticed the ark was very dusty and very dirty, so he decided to give it a good clean. Suddenly, Mrs Noah came rushing out. Where's Duck? she said. Please, everybody, see if she's left a trail. Horse found a duck feather. Pig found a duck feather. Cow found a duck feather. And where do you think duck was? Well, I'm blessed, said Mrs Noah. Just look there, fast asleep. What a dozy duck. Never mind. All's well that ends well. I'm so pleased that all the animals on our ark are such clever animals, said Mr Noah. Ark warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. When the waters cover the ground. One day, Mr Noah was looking forward to a nice, long snooze. Oh no, he's going to sleep again, said the sheep. Let's play a trick on him, said Elephant. We'll all hide. Hmm, thought Hippo. The sheep pretended to be woolly mats and Hippo joined the other animals pretending to be hills. Mr Noah woke up. Where have all the animals gone? Some new hills. Oh, some new flowers. Boo! Oh, you did give me a scare. I'm so pleased all the animals on our ark are such funny animals, said Mr Noah. Ark warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. The waters cover the ground. One day, Mr Noah's old bones were feeling the cold. Oh dear, said Sheep. He's getting old, you know. He needs a warm coat, said the monkeys. Sheep gave the wool. And they twisted it. And knitted it. And sewed it. Peacock gave some feathers for decoration. They made N. N for Noah.
What a perfect surprise. And it was a perfect fit. I'm so pleased the animals on our ark are such clever animals, said Mr Noah. Cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah noticed how untidy the ark was looking. It's all this dirty washing, said Mrs. Noah. What are we going to do? Leave it to us, said Elephant. I'll take charge. <laughs> Look what the animals have done, said Mrs Noah. Finished all the washing. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed ourselves, they all said. I'm so pleased all the animals on our ark are so clever, said Mr Noah. Cover the ground. One day, Mr. Noah discovered that Hippo was stuck. Duck invited her in to see her egg, said Horse. We warned her that she was too fat to go through the door, said Cow, and now she's stuck. Well, let's try to pull her out, said Noah. Come on, said Kangaroo. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! But it was no use. It'll have to be my saw, said Noah. No, no, said Mrs Noah, no need for that. And she gently rubbed oil on Hippo's back. Now try. <laughs> So they pulled and they pulled and out shot Hippo. What a relief. Thank you, Mrs Noah. Mr Noah was pleased. I'm so glad Mrs Noah is such a clever person, he said. the ground. One day Mr Noah heard Cat calling him. Meow. Come and look at this, Mr Noah. I can't see anything, said Cow. It's just a little bit of dazzlement on the water, said Mr Noah. Meow. There is something. I can see it perfectly. Looks like birds floating on the water, said Mrs. Noah. Queer looking birds, if you ask me, said Peacock. I know what they are. They're penguins, said Polar Bear, floating on some ice. Please help us. Our ice has nearly melted. Can we come on board? Of course you can, said Mr. Noah. Well, 
Welcome to the Ark, little friends. I'm so pleased we have two more clever animals on our Ark, said Mr Noah. Ark warm. Ark dry. Ark so safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. When the waters cover the ground. One day Mrs Noah was very cross. Someone's been stealing our food, she said. Meanwhile, the animals had discovered some food on the deck. Look what we found, said Lion. Someone spilled the beans, said Kangaroo. It's a trail of beans, said Mrs Noah. Let's follow it and see where it leads. Greedy goat, said Mrs Noah. You've eaten a whole sack full of beans. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Rah, said Lion, very angry. What can we do, said Mrs Noah. I know, said Kangaroo. Let's all give up a bit of our dinner so Hungry Goat can have extra. How kind you all are, said Mr Noah. Safe and sound. Ark is where the animals come. When the waters cover the ground. One day, Mr Noah called a meeting of all the animals. Gather round. I need your help, he said. Mrs Noah is not herself today, he told them. She's been working too hard and needs cheering up. See what you can do. Music, that's the thing, said Hippo. A one, a two. Out came Mrs Noah. She was so pleased she started to dance. How they all laughed. That's better. I'm so pleased the animals on our ark are such clever animals, said Mr Noah. Mm -hmm.